So my friends, it's time to bust out the trusty rusty auto clicker and start mining some of these black boxes up. Yes, look at these little boxes growing from this weird little machine that's in the middle of literal nowhere. So if I let all of these grow up, I can go ahead and click on them to break them or I can install the auto clicker and just mine through them very carefully and quickly. And as I do that, you can see things are popping up on the side like a destabilizer. Also, I got a gold Elmerine and a Charonite. Interesting. We just need a few more parts, so let's mine these up again and mine them one more time so we can start building some of this stuff. So the destabilizer breaks cubes twice as fast. I feel like we're doing okay, though. And then it's just channel cooler is what I really want. It places cubes extra fast. So now this should go a lot quicker. Oh, yeah, it does. We also need the reverse valve on here because we don't want this fella backing out. So we're going to let it charge up all the way. We're going to spend our next little bit with the reverse valve. I dug down 64 meters deep into the ground. And now we can get the reverse valve. So this needs to be right. Oh, it doesn't need to be right next to it. Oh, I guess it does. It can be diagonal. We'll do that. Now, this also requires one of the little black boxes to operate, so that's good. Oh, cool. Now it doesn't go backwards. Very nice. I also have a feeling that this is way too slow for what I need, so we might need to get another channel cooler to speed this up even faster. So let's grab one of those. Uh, they can not They can be diagonal too. Hmm. We'll put one here. Oh, that is so much quicker. Very good. So I just unlocked an auxiliary pump. Not exactly sure what it does, but the game tells me I need it. Reverse the valve upgrade provides pressure to a source channel placed next to it. Okay. Wait, hold on. Auxiliary. I guess we'll just put it here. Oh, it goes on top of the reverse valve. It upgrades it. Look at me being a genius in junk. Now it automatically builds it on its own. I don't have to do anything except sit here with the auto clicker. It's actually kind of slow. So I can still bump it up. But then I'll mine things. Ah, oh, I'm putting up what I'm putting down. It's just a little time saver every single time. This works really well. Now I'm guessing we're gonna have another color of ore show up sometime soon. And you know, the interesting thing, I think the game is requiring me to make a destabilizer. So I might as well put one of those right here just to see. I knew it. I knew it unlocked more things. Auxiliary pump again. Dead industrial destabilizer. Ooh, quadruples the power of resource crushing. Okay, is that an upgrade for this too? It is, nice. So let's power it up with the 64 blocks and now we should be able to just mine like crazy. Oh yes, that's very nice. Now, if I put another channel cooler in here too, that block in the middle, that's not what I wanted, but it'll work. I should have put that over here. So let's just build another destabilizer right next to this and then we're just gonna power up this one side. It's working pretty effectively. Now my base is pretty much automating itself, but I can just click on these things as soon as they pop up. Kind of like a slow-paced whack-a-mole. Ooh, that's a blue shiny rock. Deep purple quantonite. Thank you, game. I didn't know I needed that, but now I need it in real life too. And I just got a couple more of them. This is looking good. The sound effects though, this is very good. It makes my ears happy inside. The bring reminds me a little bit of like Minecraft picking up uh, experience. Wait, the game says hold alt to take a closer look. Cute. Oh, Q, demolishing tool. Nice. I didn't want this one here. I did it. I deleted it. <laughs> it's gone now. I don't know if that was a good thing, but I feel like if I made another reverse valve in that location, my goodness game, I don't want those. I also don't want this. Get rid of it. Oh, you're starting to make me mad. Okay, you build over there. I want to build up another reverse valve here so we can upgrade that. Oh, entropy resonator periodically crushes resources placed next to a cube. Okay, and then enrichment vat. Okay, I think this is, can I just put that anywhere? I might be able to. It needs 32 of the thingy though. Now that I have 32, do I need to click on it? Oh, all right. So that's slowly making energy for me. Very nice. Okay, if placed next to a cube. So this will slowly destroy things on its own. Does that mean if I delete, say this one, I can put you in here and then it's just gonna slowly destroy things on your own. Ah, <laughs> that's sad, it's fine. I like that sound. Now I'm wondering if this pump in the middle, are we ever gonna get an upgrade for that? It would be very swell if we could, because this is taking a little bit longer than I want it to, to build up. And I mean, we have a big map here too. So it'd be nice to be able to build more. Ooh, those things just popped up. Good, okay, awesome. We're doing all right here. All right, so this is the annoying thing. I'm gonna build an auxiliary pump over here. So I'm hoping that increases the speed. 
As soon as we charge it up. I destroyed 6,400 blocks. That's Makes a lot me of happy damage. inside. This doesn't really more. seem to have sped that thing up at all. But I did just notice in the top right corner that I can get another extracting channel if I have 512 of the blue blocks. So also this weird storyline going on in the bottom corner. You tell me you've been ghosting me for two weeks now. I even went to your place a few times and you just weren't there. Tell me where you're at. That's it. Are you home right now? Dude, what are you talking about? We talked... We texted literally two minutes ago. What is wrong with you? First you don't show up, then disappointed, disappear completely. Now you act like nothing happened. I'm asking you a simple question. Where are you? I'm here. Where? Hold on. It's not funny, man. Where exactly can you tell me that? <laughs> uh, well, uh oh, ran out of juice. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> you don't even know? I need to gather my thoughts. This is wild. I didn't realize there's gonna be a secondary storyline here. Is everything okay? Should I call some? I, who are you gonna call? Bro doesn't even know where he is. I'm good, I just... <laughs> it's just clicking a button. I'll text you in a bit. Another two weeks is gonna go by. Oh, and hot dang, I wasn't even paying attention. But I can build another extracting channel now. And if I build one right here, right? Then these are gonna work in conjunction as well. We do need to get the... So we have the destabilizers and the miner in the middle. We can build up our channels. The cooler's right in here. Okay, and then we get a reverse valve. We'll charge that up, and then we should be able to get multiple things here. Oh, this is nice. Uh-huh. And then we can just mine it all out like this. I do need to get this reverse valve fixed a little bit more. This is crazy. I've got 6,800 black blocks now. Uh-oh, these ran out of juice. I've got 6,000, 7,000, and I still haven't been able to unlock another auxiliary pump. Although I don't know if I need one on the other side. Let's uh, charge that up too. There we go. Auxiliary pump is created, and in it goes. Now you should be able to charge up and things are gonna automate on their own. Does that allow me to unlock anything else? Like that's the real talk. And now we've turned this clicker game into an idle game. So I wanna try something here. Now we have this guy in the middle. We need to power it up right now. If I remove, let's see if I can do this right. If I remove this thing and this thing, I know it's gonna get expensive, but I can build two more of these entropy resonators, one on each side. Alt makes it go away, cool. All right, that's looking good. Now these are gonna mine up properly, if I can click on it. And we should be able to build up the destabilizer. Yeah, I need to build the regular destabilizer first. Ooh, that's not a bad deal. I can build one there and one here. And then we'll, end, we'll industrialize them. So it's gonna be a little more efficient. They're not breaking very quickly. And then because I didn't charge these dinguses up. There we go, there we go, this is it. This is efficiency. Now the question is, do I put them here as well? And I think the answer is maybe. We don't know finally yet. I need to power them up. I need that middle one to break though. Can you break, dingus? No. Thank you. I think that's working pretty well. Everything's going quickly. Let's uh, upgrade these again. Oh, these gotta be charged up though. Now the question is, do these two auxiliary mines help grow these faster? And I don't think that answer is yes. I think the answer is no. So I can upgrade this spot now too, and everything should go quicker, except the building. So like the building process is going up nicely. Things are exploding quickly. Good. That works pretty good until we run out of juice in here and here again. Oh, dang. I just got a, I don't even know what color that is. Beta piling. Is that, ooh, that gives me a pump station. My goodness. I don't know what that does. I also put in a few more of these little destroying blocks here and everything's working pretty quickly. An auxiliary pump upgrade provides quadruple pressure to a source channel placed next to it. 256 L Marine and four beta pylons to operate. My goodness, that's a lot of juice. Oh, I'm scared. I don't, it seems I don't know where I am. This is weird. I mean, everything is fine with me, but I can't describe this place. It's like a dream, but then again, it's not. Everything is white and there are these machines and cubes and it doesn't make any sense. I'm not high or anything. I just realized how strange it is that I've never noticed that. This wasn't like anything I'd ever seen. Oh, there's another bite of piling. Now I get redstones. It's kind of creepy, but I'm totally fine with it. Okay, I just need redstone. Everything is fine. I don't know if that's what uh, what, it, what it means to be okay. <laughs> so you're not kidding. I know it sounds weird, but yeah, it's all here before my eyes. Guys, we're in like this weird matrix place. He's I like it. Anything I can do for me? Yeah, you can fill up some Edermine in here. Oh, we have other things too, like a uh, material streamer tower. Channels resource via stream can only be one. I don't know what that means, but I need to build it. That requires 32,000 of this block? 
My goodness. Charnite sup reclaims quarnite from liquefied charnite sediments in the presence of catalyst. My goodness, the words are bigger than my brain even knows what they are. Anything up here that I can build? No, we just have to extract for a while. <laughs> They're the cops are now looking for you like you went missing. Did you show them our text? How would that help? No, I turned on auto delete. Thanks. Wait, what? The friend just said, I'm out. Nice friend. Wish I had a friend. I also have no idea if this is like optimized or not. Am I overdoing it? Do I need less mining things and more, more production? Some of you geniuses in the comments are like, Blitz, you're an idiot. You should be doing this, 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 and this. I know I am, but that's kind of the fun thing with games like this is there's there's nothing, there's no idea how to play it. We're just exploring it for the first time now. I am gonna build a pump station though. Okay, quadruples. So like this one, it'll quadruple it. And then we could pretty much, ooh, it's gonna take four of the other blocks and 250 of the yellow. So I could delete this guy as soon as this one's up and running. Hey, there we go, Edamine is up. Oh, we got like 400 of it. Here, we gotta upgrade this now. So that should help out building faster, I'm guessing. Oh wow, look how fast that builds now. Hot thing is that's cool. So let's delete this building uh, because yes, I think we can delete that one and this one. Well, I don't need to delete that one yet. Uh oh, oh wait, uh-huh. And now we can do it manually. Manual is way quicker. <laughs> the thing is, I don't have a phone. How are you texting me? I don't know. I just know when you message me and I can respond to you. It's not easy. What is happening? <laughs> don't sweat it, we can talk. That's already good enough. Uh, yes, you are right. <laughs> Weird, man. So this is interesting too. I just recognized something that these blocks are giving me the blue. These ones are giving me the orange. There, There's no blue coming out of here and only blue coming out of this side. There's no yellows. So it, it makes me think that the, the block is based on the tier of the item that's creating it. So like, for example, if I turn this thing into a pump station, which I'm going to do for science purposes, it's only gonna uh, allow the buildup of these blocks. Oh, we still have blues. Okay, why do we still have blues? I'll gladly take it. We need blues and purples. Salmons, uh-oh, need you back too. I would like to get this too. I don't know where I build it at. Does it relate to any item? It doesn't really. Let's build it, oh, you know what? I bet this is the same thing as this, but it turns the blues. Okay, we'll build it here, build two of them. And I wanna build a fourth one of this, uh-huh. And then this will create the blues. Is that what's gonna happen here? It's making a gurgling, bubbling sound. It's adding more noises to my ear holes. So tell me about the machines. What do you mean? What do they do and how do they work? I click on them with an auto clicker and they make shiny blocks. They look fancy, some cables and wires and stuff. Uh-huh. One, for example, looks like a big plastic box with a copper coil on the top where blue storage goes. And on the big label, E01SR on the side with a small label, caution, strong entropy radiation. Oh yes, that's nice. So many buttons flying around now. What does that mean? I don't really know. There's some entropy radiation there, I guess. That is genius. I thought you made these machines. Right, I see your point. So I'm making the machines and I don't even know what they are. Where's the copper coil one he was talking about too? Is it the middle one here? Might upgrade. Oh, that's this one. Okay. I make them from cubes somehow, but I don't know what's inside. Yeah, that does sound weird, but let me think about this. Some of these are becoming almost entirely salmon colored now, and these ones are becoming just straight up black with nothing inside. Weird. And by the way, it seems like yellow and blue stones are not infinite. I should really invest in those converters or a new mine. Ah, thank you, game. So yeah, we are out of the yellow ones, and we're... Almost out of the blue ones now. But I have a couple converters, so we should be good. And now these are turning over to the magenta. Okay, this <laughs> sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right, so we can afford, we should be able to afford another extracting channel. Now the question is, do I want to utilize this one the same way I have been utilizing the others? I mean, I can, it's really not that hard, right? It'll do the same thing. And then if I build up the entropy thingy-ma-ba-ma-ma-doer right there, it should start mining these out. So the reverse valve works there. I need to get a another, yep. We need to build these, except it's too fast. My goodness. Well, I guess I don't need them if it's fast, right? What I really need is more destabilizers on the sides and then we can industrialize them. So this will give me more yellow rocks. Now we can also build a recycling tower, um, 640 meters down. 
Oh, recycling, which returns 90% of the resources. Oh my, okay. Uh, it's big, it's large and in charge. I'm gonna place it right here. I don't know what it does, but I want it. Oh, now we got a better piling oxidizer into productive. Okay, well, this is another one of these machines and this one will turn 8,000 back into the others. Okay, I'm cool with that. So good news, I have now over 8,000 of the beta piling. I'm concerned about clicking this because it took a long time to get it, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And now that should charge that stuff down into other resources. I'm also wanting to get another extracting channel so I can place it down on this side. And I also just realized that I have not been stocking these things properly. So let's upgrade a few of these to industrial sized ones. Okay, I can afford three. Time to get a few more. Yeah, so all we need to do is just mine things quicker. That's the good thing about what's happening right now. Kind of like these salmon blocks, they've taken over. We're starting to get blues down here on the side too. So if I get 2000 blues, we're totally gonna buy another factory. And now these salmon blocks are almost entirely salmon flavored. Just a little bit of dark in there still. Oh yeah, we need the blue ones too. Hold on game. I'm sorry, I'm getting so excited about the salmons. Yes, but realistically I need the blue ones more than anything. Speaking of the blue ones, there's that 2000 we needed for that extracting channel. So if I put this one here, right? It's gonna extract to these. I just wanna do the opposite opposite of what's happening here. So we'll put you in and you in and you in for the cooling towers. We'll jump in another reverse valve and then we're gonna start leveling up this reverse valve with an auxiliary pump. And then I wanna get a pump station next, but I don't have any blue juice. So let's turn these on to get more blue juice. We're gonna build two more of them so I can get even more blue juice. And it looks like this thing worked. Let's do it again. Okay, is that gonna go? Looks like it's working. Now this thing's gonna mine over here as well. And then as soon as I can afford it, we'll get in more destabilizers on the side. Oh. Oh, I don't mind if I do. I kind of forgot that I could destabilize the other side as well. Until you run out of resources, of course. Oh, and interesting. Now that these are fully salmon, I'm not going to get any black blocks over here or whatever it is, carbonite, unless I destroyed it and rebuilt it, I guess. So we have to be very careful of the resources we use and continue expanding the best we can. So I've been wanting to upgrade this station to a pump station, looking good there. And also I need to keep getting resources in like this. I'm trying to get up to getting this material streamer tower because I really have no idea what it does. And this turns the beta piling into charonite. Charonite is the black one, which is kind of interesting. It kind of goes full circle. So you go from salmon to black again after all of the dirt and yellows go away. Oh, I forgot to mine that one up. Ooh, 256 yellow. I don't have any of that. I think we need it out of here, right? I could actually see an entire base failing because you forget to do certain things too. You'd almost have to jumpstart it somehow and I don't have 4,000 uh, materials for this. But I think as long as we have these uh, nine conversion towers up here, we'll be all right. There we go, bunch of blues. Now we need yellows too, my dude. Can we have some yellows? There's some yellows, only 32 of them. These things are getting real close. There we go, a bunch of yellows popping up. Now we have seven. 180. Let's queue these up again. I guess I forgot I could have queued this thing up on my own to get more yellows, but I'll just mine it on my own now. Oh, hot dang. Uh, get a gem. Oh, the green one. That's gonna give me another tower type, isn't it? Oh, I'm so close to the material streamer tower. And it's, oh, we got, we got talking happening. Sounds like a plan. What a pain, huh? The green stone, it takes ages to break and I've come up with something if they keep showing up. I'm sure that's some fancy machine for that. You bet. What is it called? Is it this, this assembling or the fill director? That gem in gem. Why are there so many things? Underground silo automatically frills. Oh, that's nice. My goodness, there's so many things in this game. And I tell you what, my friends, I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to see more of 64, You'll have to let me know down below in the comments. So keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd also like to thank all of my channel members and patrons, including Auto Dave, Ben, Dicky J, Teddy Hippius, General Harris, Trent Dent, Kodino, Ritt the Warrior, Keegan H, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ral, BC Engineers, Cars Morax, Spencer T, Whiskey, YH, Splatter Sacks, Doug Rules, Fred, Dalton C, Sikander D, Peyton Plays, Fussy Badge, Link Hewlett, Kyler J, Nitro, Nitrox, Wyatt K, and Rainbow Dash.